Is it hot in here or is it just me? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. This is uh, quite a big space you got here. It's very modern. Oh, <laughs> oh you're heavy. My truck's in the lane. It's not going to get towed or anything, is it? I'm retaining a little bit of water. Just, in the little just, have to... yeah. just as much over there. That's good. So I'm like doing my masters right now. I'm a Piscean fire horse. I'm not from around here. I play a lot of hockey. I do a lot of M&A work. I'm a case manager at a crisis center. Jill's in sales, routers, switches, telecom stuff. Mergers and acquisitions, that sort of thing. Jill's in real estate, ranked 77th in the GTA. My friends call me Joe, but uh, chicks, uh, chicks call me daddy. <laughs> my dissertation has to do with like, the post-colonial queer voice as heard, or like, not heard, in the French diaspora. Hockey's great. Plus, I advocate for cyclist rights. There's no chance of, of people from Pickering or somewhere finding out about this, right? Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Um, oh. Comes with the territory. Can I smoke in here? Can I smoke in here? Can, Can we, we smoke, smoke from here? Uh, sorry. Was someone smoking in here? Well, on one level, we've already got what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, I've got Jill, and I've got you. <laughs> Ideally, I guess I'd be looking for a man, wouldn't I? At least that's what my mother keeps telling me. Monogamy is not for me. It's like, so 20th century, you know? For sure, I'm looking for someone who enjoys an active lifestyle. I'm looking for someone who has a, a real respect for the kind of work I do. Someone who has a sense of adventure. Yes. Maybe someone who plays hockey. Someone into games and toys and... Honesty, loyalty. Professional, discreet. So uh, are we talking a one-off here or something longer haul? Someone to be with. Someone just like you. Who's kind of like me, normal. Uh, but who doesn't get attached. Yes, no attachments. Because we're very attached, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Just. Nothing too weird. Butter goo a hi a hi, lava lar for nani na sai. In my case, his story really is history. Well, we've both been engaged, actually. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were both named Dave. It's true. Jeremy, second year university. Yeah, I married him. He was a golf pro from Lethbridge. Last eight precious woman loving years of my life. Turns out he wasn't all that sensitive, <clears throat> mostly just troubled. No. Huh? Have you? Like all the time. Queer doesn't mean you just do girls, right? <laughs> sure. I mean, in high school, sure. I mean, if a straight boy is kind of cute, why not? But no one ever got past third base. Not with me. <laughs> we were together for four years. Of course, nobody in the firm knew. My whole life, you know, I've liked girls. Besides, you don't just come out on Bay Street, no. Technically, I'm still in my last relationship. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's not like it sounds. It's sort of like we're in the overtime period. We went five years. Five years without sex. My best girlfriend and I, we would always date guys who were like best friends too. True story, all through high school, we never went anywhere without each other. She left me for an investment banker. Quite an attractive woman. Wears a ton of Armani. <laughs> Black label Armani. This is Armani. So the usual thing is going on, but I guess I got my courage up or something. The thing is, they're very out. <laughs> they have cats. I'm kissing her. And the guys are watching, of course, but it's like, oh my God. Nothing else exists except her. My heart is exploding. Anyway, that was like seven years ago. I think she's probably married with like kids, probably <laughs> something crazy like that. <sighs> You're joking, right? I'm doing my masters. Does it look like I want to spell for you? C U. Is this a trick question? N N C U N N I L I N G U S. How about being good at it? Does that count for anything? I. No. L. Can I spell check it on my Palm Pilot? I. I'm more of a player. N G 
LBD. Is that some sort of STD? LBD? Well, sure, lesbian bed death. No, no, I know. It's that new drug, right? That's it. I hate the word lesbian. Did I mention that? No one dies in my bed, babe, unless they've died and gone to heaven. It's like a virus, a spiritual virus. It's an evil, pervasive myth. It sure can creep up on you. Creeps up on you and it stays like an unwanted guest. It's a white woman's disease. It's just another way for men to desexualize us and rob us of our essential vulvic powers. One has to work hard at romance at keeping that flame of attraction alive. Sometimes it's really hard work. Well, I wouldn't say really hard. I went and rented a documentary on LBD from the Women's Film Cooperative. Because, of course, we're always tired. Oh, we're not that tired. We watched it together, and it really took us to a brand new place. The flesh sags, you put on a few pounds and desire sort of, well, desire. But instead of making love, we ended up taking the dogs for a really long walk. Our desire is alive and well. Yeah. Do you mind if I burn some sage in here? This is a preemptive strike. Against lesbian bed death, which we don't have. Yeah. Go, get up, stop it, go, get up, stop, you know. Isn't that just a little old-fashioned? Top. Bottom. Which do you prefer? Bottom. Bottom. Well, unless there's this coach rookie thing we do sometimes where it's the Olympics. Listen, babe, the only way you're getting on top is by sitting on my face. And I'm the star rookie, and she's really pissed at me. That question is, like, so heterocentric. No. Oops. I said no. I'm facilitating a kissing workshop this Thursday. An hour of theory, an hour of demonstration, and one hour of practical. I just got back from Italy, took a three-week course in Tuscany. It was fantastic. Let me ask you something. If a relationship was, say, a hockey game, do you prefer Italian reds or French reds? Do you like kissing? Are you interested in the kind of work that needs to be done? Do you like workshops? You interested in the struggle? Would you call yourself straight acting? Could you live in Pickering? You look straight acting. So has all of this been like a joke? Can I just see you walk? Do you even know how to play hockey? I sense a lot of rigidity about sex, mostly. I don't think you're a struggler. You're sweet, but a daddy's not what you want. We're not looking to tie anybody down. Not figuratively, anyway. You strike me as very emotionally honest. And you get two for the price of one. <laughs> In closing, I'd just like to say that my baggage is fairly light. I have no communicable diseases. There's another copy of my CV and a recent doctor's report, including blood work. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. It's been nice meeting you. It has. There seems to be some positive energy here. You've got our card and you've got my pager number. You gave her your pager number? Doing yeah, it's, nice it's really nice of you. Aren't we it's really nice taking of you. Risks? No, it's great. It's great. It's all about you, isn't it? <laughs>